While citing measures already taken by the government to enhance security in the country, National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich said it was important for Kenya to strengthen all our security agencies. The people of Nairobi and Coast may have by now noticed the surveillance cameras installed in strategic points and roads in Nairobi and Mombasa. This security surveillance uh, system provides real-time footage to the National Police uh, Operation Center enabling security agents to monitor and detect crime. Last year, the government allocated 223.9 billion shillings to security, but terrorism coupled with the radicalization of Kenyan youth prompted the government to scale up that amount by 40.1 billion shillings this financial year. We will enhance security operations, especially in areas prone to crime, build capacity for effective and faster investigation, and build coordination among security agencies with strong partnership with communities. Rotich said the government will also in October this year commence the construction of housing facilities for Kenya's men and women in uniform. While acknowledging the role played by security agencies in the tourism sector, Rotich said the government will allocate 4.5 billion shillings to go to the promotion of tourism to help boost the already recovering industry. To ensure that Kenya reclaims its position as a leading destination, the government in consultation with the relevant stakeholders will roll out the required incentive packages. And even though that amount has been slashed, the government hopes that the withdrawal of travel advisories by foreign countries will reflect positively on the Kenyan economy, reviving this sector. For Channel One News, I am Edward Kabasa.